Okay, take 27. I have got a rowdy Aretha running around here. Uh, she's a little sinusy today, but that hasn't stopped her from wanting to jump and play and do all that kind of stuff. She's sitting right, right at my feet, so that's why I keep looking down to see what she's getting ready to do next. Got Jake around here somewhere, hiding, probably trying to keep Aretha from jumping all over him. But I've got stuff to show you, and I've got CD, CLT, from uh, Halloween fan Mark. He sent me some CDs for Christmas, so I'm going to show you those. I tried to, I tried to film a video the other day. Technical difficulties. That's all I can say. So I'm going to show you the CDs he sent me. <laughs> wow. And I'm going to show you a couple items I got from Amazon. And I'm going to show you some stuff I got ah, in the package from Rox Records. <laughs> I'm going to do that while trying not to get pounced on. All right, so let's get started, because I think she went to go play somewhere else. All right, so here, here's a stack that Mark sent me, and boy, he did a good job. First, he sent me Leanne Womack. This is a, uh, the, the season for romance. This is a 2002 Christmas album, it looks like, on MCA. Leanne has a great voice, and she's looking quite lovely there in her red dress. Let's see, we have a, we got another picture on the inside. We have a plain CD. I'm guessing, from the looks of this, this is probably with the... That microphone almost means crooner Christmas, and that's okay with me. So that's Leanne Womack. Marvin Gaye, number ones. I only have one other Marvin Gaye CD. I've got the deluxe edition of what's going on. So I need to boost my my uh, Marvin Gaye collection, and so this works very well. Let's see if I can let you take a look at the track listing there. Marvin Gaye. The next CD is a uh, Indigenous Chasing the Sun. Now, I just see the one guy on this. I'm going to have to do my homework on this CD. I just see this one guy on uh, the cover, but I was thinking that Indigenous was a family band. It was it's, uh, a family of uh, Native Americans that play blues. And so, but I, other than that, I don't know a whole lot. But this cover seems to feature this guy mainly, and I'm not even sure what his name is. But this is a 2006 Vanguard recording. So that's very cool. The Righteous Brothers. The very best of the Righteous Brothers, Unchained Melody. And you've got your claw hung on my sweater now. Now what you going to do? Okay. So, anyway. Oh. I've gotten some of their stuff on. <laughs> I've gotten some of their stuff on vinyl. I don't have it on uh, CD. So, welcome that. This is on Verve. It's a 1990 compilation, I guess. I think one of my vinyl albums has this picture on the cover. 
So, very best of the brightest brothers. I don't think I have this John Mellencamp, and I have a lot of his stuff. It's still in the thing. He put a note on there saying, sorry for the crack. No, I'm not worried about that. I can find another cover. Let's see. You can't really see that track listing very well, can you? Hey, take it easy on the chair. Kids. Anyway, this is just called John Mellencamp. Now we have Fate's Warning. This is uh, 25th Anniversary Edition. And it's self-titled. Fate's Warning. And it's 2007. I picked up one of their albums last year from the Fat Rabbit. And so, glad to give this a try. And then he put a note in here saying he couldn't resist. Hello, Aretha. Because he sent me some Aretha Franklin. What you see is what you sweat. There's a picture of her on the back. Let's see. We got a 1991 Arista. So I did not have this one. I'm very pleased to have that. And those are the seven CDs that Halloween fan Mark sent me. I appreciate it, brother. I hope you enjoyed what I sent you. And if you don't subscribe to Halloween fan, I know he's taking a sabbatical, but we're going to put his channel down in the description if you don't subscribe subscribe we'll keep pestering him maybe he'll come back and make some more videos because i miss my buddy and so merry christmas mark and uh, happy new year well christmas is over isn't it happy new year anyway and uh man i'm gonna make it down to nashville sometime this year i don't know when but we'll we're gonna hook up and uh meet up and and uh looking forward to that that's going to happen i got a feeling I feel real good about that so let's go on now to my amazon pickups and this is going to seem out of place but i am so geeked up for this next avengers movie everybody uh, yes i saw the trailer i'm so geeked up i don't know what to do well, I know what I did do. I got a little bonus money this week. Um, I picked up the Infinity Gauntlet. I don't do a lot of comic book buying these days. But, uh, yeah. This looks like it's going to be awesome. So maybe this will tide me over while we're waiting on that movie. Hurry up with that movie. All right, so this other Amazon pickup, I had to wait till I I ordered a few other things, and and uh, this this was like four or five bucks. It was a it's what they call an add on. You have to have so much money, and then you can add. So this is an add on, and I picked this up because. I've been wearing out that new Russ Taff album, the, the Praise and Worship album, and Russ does a song on there called No More Slaves. And, wow. What you need to do, and I'll put a link, I'll put a link to that in the description too, a link to a video where you can just click on there and listen to Russ sing No More Slaves. It's one of the best vocal performances I've heard. In a long time. Well, anyway, I was looking at uh, trying to see, because I know I'm not really in the, the praise music scene, so 
but this guy, Zach Williams, apparently maybe he's the guy that made No More Slaves a, a big song. So anyway, he had this real interesting, I guess it's an EP, uh, Zach Williams, this is uh, Survivor Live from Harding Prison. It just intrigued me because it's acoustic. It has very much almost a Johnny Cash type feel where he's going into prison. Um, let me see. There's a picture of him. Big beardy guy. And so I thought, man, uh, for that much, for that little, I, I'm going to go ahead and check them out. The set list on this thing sounds incredible. It's only about six songs. Uh, Survivor, Old Church Choir, To the Table, No Longer Slaves, Fear is a Liar, and Chainbreaker. Man, that, that sounds really interesting. I can't wait to give this a spin. Zach Williams. All right, so now I got, let me start showing you this uh, package I got from uh, Rocks Records. So the band, Scott's been, Scott Water's been showing us where they were working with the band Philadelphia. And so I know last year, was it last year, the year before? Can't remember. This is 2016. So 2016, maybe it was late 2016, they put out uh, this CD, Warlord, Philadelphia Warlord. And I picked it up. I got the pick. Um, I guess it's autographed on that side. So I got the pick, got the CD. Uh, there's the picture on the inside. So I picked all that up. So when they offered the two Warlord albums that they just were working on, I didn't bother to get a new CD. I just uh, got um, just got the vinyl. And they made the vinyl part of the Rocks Underground series. Good looking album. Kind of sad I hear there's just one more album coming out after this one on this series and then this series will be done. They're going to go out with a bang though. I, I already, Scott already told me what the last album's going to be and they picked, they picked the right one. All right, so it's on the J card. The J card has got the other picture. What is this? Okay. That is a good picture of the band. Uh, there's this little card in the J card. It's got the track listing. And it says, disclaimer, the album was too good and too long to fit onto one 12-inch vinyl. The track order had to be altered and the deletion of the bonus demo track from the CD pressing was necessary to make it fit into this awesome analog format. We hope you enjoy it. We apologize for any inconvenience. I'm sure it's going to be great. And my uh, J-Card is numbered six of 150. I don't think I've ever had a number that low. Um, and I've got every, I've got all 11 albums that they put out so far in this series. And I've had some decent, some pretty good numbers, but I don't think I've had anything in the top 10 before. It is on a regular black 
got that great rocks records logo and then of course on the front philadelphia warlord custom centering looking awesome so very excited about that um also So then the other album that they were working on was uh, Search and Destroy. Now, I, are, I did have a copy of Search and Destroy. It is It was put out by Millennium 8. Now, there's the original cover. The Millennium 8 also has this picture I guess you can put that out front but I always kept out the uh, the original cover though I think that uh, this CD I went ahead and got the CD um, the CD vinyl combo pack because I felt like this this album uh, was going to just sound better than this Millennium 8 recording. Uh, we'll let you see that. That sticker means I bought that at Better Days. Back in the day. That's the what they used to, the stickers they used to put on their CDs in the bargain bin. And they are a booger to get off. So that's why that sticker is still on there. Uh, so I paid. I got this one for two bucks. And... Oh, by the way, they sent me stickers for both, but then they, all right, so there's the CD for Search and Destroy. Uh, looking very cool on the inside. Is there a picture? No, there was nothing really to see much on the inside other than that and then of course I got the vinyl that that's a great cover really enjoying that then it's got a uh, insert that's got another version Then it's got song, is that song lyrics? Song lyrics. And on the one side, it's got all the pictures of all the alternative covers they were considering. But very cool. There's the back. I guess that's that same picture on the Millennium 8 CD. And then you have the uh, custom centering, the rocks ring, and it is on a gold, there's a gold record. Very well done. And for all that I've shown, we're only, we're coming up on 20 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and let you go. Great stuff. Thanks, Rox. Th thanks. Really appreciate. Again, I've said this a million times. I'll probably say it another million. Really appreciate everything that Scott and Bill uh, do for Christian metal and um, well not a creature is stirring so we're going to let you go hope you're having a great weekend I'm getting ready I've, I've DVR'd the uh, Wildcat UK Wildcats and U of L Cardinals game yes I'm in Louisville but I grew up closer to UK so I'll be pulling for the cats today so uh, going to go watch the game. Hope you have a great weekend. We'll see you soon.